mixture of 65 grams of KO3, potassium nitrate, and 20 grams of sugar. And this is a mixture of 15 grams of corn syrup and some extra water. The water amount is not very important. But you mix it up so the corn syrup will come out so you get a good amount of corn, the actual amount. Because the corn syrup will stick to the wall and it won't come out. You don't want the sugar to caramelize. A little bit of a dirty pan, but you want it to all pretty well dissolve as much as you can. Okay, so this top layer starts to get this film on it and it starts to boil. And that'll be your rocket fuel, but you just want to keep stirring it um, pretty much continuously. And then all this will just, the water will come out and you'll be left with just your fuel. Okay. Constantly stirring or it'll potentially catch fire. Right now there's not much of a possibility it's all still wet. But as you get closer to the end, there will be. We're going to be using a 3 8 inch steel rod for our corn tool. And we're using PB Blaster for the coating that makes it non-stick. Lubricant, as the guy in the background said. Spray it, and it's ready to go. And then you'll just drop it into the fuel in the motor casing. It burns, but not super great. Which tells me it's got too much water in it still. Cool. Alright, burn test number two, now we'll let it cook a little longer. I'd say she's there. Not the recommended way, folks. Again, not the, not the recommended way. Side without the core hole exposed. And put this three quarter, stepping down to half inch of the half inch coupler. It's not the most ideal setup. And then just a steel plug into this end. have a way over complicated, way too heavy cap. We thought about using this, but there's too much pressure. And then our nozzle, an O-ring.
three, two, one.